my colleague Ashish Ramola on the ground found that the convicts have all gone underground. Uh, this is very important because we literally knocked on the doors of, I think, eight homes and not one of them was in town, so to speak. Uh, and it made us feel that even if the Supreme Court uh, were to, in fact, uh, uh, say that let's send them back, uh, this, this release is indeed illegal. They may not even be around, Vrinda, uh, to be sent back. That's point well, one. I'm sure. I'm sure the state of Gujarat has a strong police and we have a very strong <laughs> government. And I'm sure they will smoke them out. Let me point out to this conduct business, right? Yes. They are granted remission because uh, their conduct is very good. Yes. Uh, one of them, during parole time, if I'm not mistaken, actually has another case against him. These are all documents that they have supplied us. We can't have access to these documents otherwise. Even under RTI, people are not being able to access them. So that's why I'm saying there is, on the one hand, non-application of mine. And on the one hand, uh, for reasons that are extraneous to uh, justice, this remission has been granted. And in fact, one of the convicts has another case of 354, which is outraging modesty of a woman. Uh, etc. He's an accused in one more case. So it's it's actually very interesting what they consider is good conduct. Mass murderer, uh, gang rapes are released and they also have other cases and their own uh, nominal roles actually do not display the good conduct that is being spoken of. And this, yeah. the central government has not expressed its opinion. The central government, in fact, in one meeting, it's very interesting, in one of those meetings of the jail advisory committee, some person asked this question, what is the status of the victim, survivor? Will she be all right once they are released? And the answer given is something to the effect that, oh, we will check out where she's living, etc. We think perhaps she's living in X place. Without that inquiry, that proceeding could have been adjourned, that uh, inquiry could have been completed, she could have been asked, will she be safe? Without that inquiry having been completed, although such a query is made at that meeting, the, it is decided that they all, this person needs to be uh, granted remission. One of the convicts, in fact, his remission is opposed by the SP and many others. So, the, you know, it's not, it's not the way the case is being made out, um, uh, both in terms of uh, law and in terms of the granular factual details. There are many, many very serious uh, uh, omissions here, which uh, lead you to wonder that what is, what is the message that both the state of Gujarat and the central government are giving by this particular remission? Actually, the details of the affidavit tell you that most of these men uh, have spent, some have spent more than a thousand days out on parole instead of inside jail. You can see that in that chart there. And now, of course, you're, you're saying, having studied it a little more closely, that one of these uh, men, while out on parole, is then charged with outraging the modesty uh, of a woman. So good behavior, uh, uh, you know, is a very ironic term. And as, of course, uh, the MLA on the review committee, the BJP MLA had told us, uh, yes, and Scott Brahmin hai. So I think that has to be remembered today with uh, with a lot of shock, horror and irony.